or Mount Kenya, but they will find a house in order. Away from that, the body of a former GSU officer is among those whose DNA tests have been matched with their family members. The GSU officer quit his police job to join Pastor Paul McKenzie's cult together with eight other family members. Already, four bodies of the deceased officer's family have been picked for burial in one grave. And as Tobias Chanji reports, the family of Titus Ngonyo now wants the government to help them cater for their funeral costs. Titus Ngonyo is a distressed man. He lost eight members to controversial Pastor Paul McKenzie Cult Church at Shakahola. Four bodies have already matched with his DNA, while the whereabouts of the other four remains unknown. Among those found are his son, an ex GSU officer, his wife, daughter in law, and grandchild. Uh, Ngonyo's family was the whistleblower of the Shakahola deaths that took place in early 2023 and resulted in the death of 429 people, most of them women and children. Uh, Either wakiwa hai ama wakiwa wamekufa. Kwa sababu watu siku sema walikufa na hawajo patikana mochari. Kwa hivyo labda wakipatikana hai saa wakipatikana wakufa pia kama hivi. Pia takuwa majonzi ya taisha. Manaki tukwa badu tukwa hali ya majonzi vile. When you visited him at his muyaya village in Malindi sub-county, family members and relatives were fundraising to conduct the burial selected for this Friday. Family members say they are incapacitated tumekadiria laki tatu elfu hamsini lakini atuja fika ata karibu na hapo labda tuko chini ya laki mbili sahi halili amboli numetupata kama mtaa ni kubwa tena kubwa zaidi kama vile mnafeona karibu ya hapa kuna kaburi ya watu wane ambo imekuwa ni mzigo sana kwa huyu mzee ambaye ametoka kuongea hapa sasa. Offer only 34 bodies out of 429 have been identified and matched via DNA tests. Tobias Chanji, KT News, Kilifi County. To road safety now where statistics on fatalities